Hi guys, it's my face. I swear I actually do exist, I promise. It's been a very long time coming with just like voiceovers and stuff. I've partly been away, uh, my ex has had the kids. I've partly been away and before that it was then half term. So like when I've got my kids about, you can't film face to face, especially where I live. Like there's no, I'm not actually gonna shoo them into the other room just so I can like use the space. So I tend just to do voiceovers. We've got our pleasantries over and done with. I wanted to bring it back. I know I've been talking so much about Gypsy Rose recently, but it's because new things keep on coming out. Number one, one of the side reasons why we're here is Nicholas Godajon, Godajon, Nicholas Godajon. He's actually gonna be a, like, I don't know if he's gonna be appearing or he is gonna be talking through his representative. Something's happening, but basically he has been speaking out on this YouTube channel, which I will leave linked down below and I'll just like flash the name up across here. Tomorrow, uh, or no, today, Today is the 1st of March, just so we're clear. And he's appearing on Cornerstone Nation at like 7 p.m. I don't know what time zone where that is, so I'm probably not even gonna get to it till tomorrow. But I thought that was really interesting to note because we know that his appeal didn't go through. And then his representative slash attorney, lawyer, whoever, whatever, I believe has put forward another motion. So that this is one of my main key points of interest i can't help it i'm exactly what i said that i hated and the fact that i'm really interested in especially what's going on with nick i have a very big interest in sort of the relationship dynamics especially between like ryan and gypsy and then also like nick like what's happening with Nick. I feel like he didn't get a fair trial. Doesn't mean to say that I think Gypsy should go back in or that he should just be allowed to roam about. I've covered this so many different times. I feel like it's stupid of me just to keep on rehashing it. But if you want it, you can go watch any of my past videos. What is very interesting, right, is that I was browsing through the Reddit on my home feed and I saw from the Gypsy Rose Blanchard skeptic subreddit, because the original one, I don't know what's happened with that, whether or not the mods just don't want to play with it anymore but I haven't seen anything posted on there in a very long time but on this particular subreddit someone came on and basically said that they had been um writing to Gypsy while she was in prison um and I'm just going to read out the description because what Gypsy was saying was that she wasn't sure about the relationship this was like when she was in prison and she then like it was when she was actually married so she was actually married to Ryan during this time period and then she said like I'm getting a divorce well that obviously didn't happen it's really interesting like the way that she's like addressing her crimes and stuff is just so I mean I already know we already know that she doesn't classify herself as a murderer like we, we we've already know we know this okay we know this i don't feel like she feels a lot of remorse that's just my own personal opinion now you may ask how is this verified can't this person just say well the mods as you tend to be on reddit basically the mods were like oh i'm gonna take this post down they then went and actually like verified it so the person then would have had to like actually prove that this is genuine um and it was verified guys it was verified. This person was speaking to Gypsy Rose, held on to these for a long time, not wanting to release them out of respect for her privacy, but seeing as how she now broadcasts every aspect of her marriage, I no longer feel the need to keep these secret. Which is a very interesting point. So many people were writing to Gypsy. So many people. So many people. Like, I know people, right, I'm not going to disclose names because they are actually my friends, but you know, I've got I've got a few friends that have at one point feigned interest in like becoming a pen pal to someone in prison, and I'm just like, uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm just like I don't know about that one. Obviously, it depends on the crime, but I'm talking about like men. There's a whole thing for it. It's really bizarre. I don't know whether or not that actually transpired, but I do know that people do want to write to you know men in prison. Women want to write to men, and now it's the other way around as well. I started writing Gypsy in August of 2022 and she was quick to open up to me about her issues with Ryan while still behind bars. When we first started corresponding, she was very much on the fence about staying married to him and they separated during the early days of our correspondence. Eventually she decided to wanted to stay married to him and I got the impression he told her not to write to me anymore as I'm a man. This is what I mean. To be clear, I never wrote Gypsy with any interest beyond just being her pen pal. To be honest, it was more a morbid curiosity that made me reach out in the first place. I post these now because from everything I've seen since her release, I truly do believe her marriage is toxic. And it's really funny you should say that because quite a lot of people um, are saying that, you know, she only got married for like her probation and stuff. Um... I don't really want to speculate on that, but I do know that that is a, a very prominent theory that goes around. 
going to try and not um, pause too much because I understand that you guys want to have your time and you don't just want to listen to me warble. So this is from Gypsy. Okay, I'm going to try and get a lot of it read. Okay. Need advice. So I'm pretty sure I sometimes overthink things, but maybe my feelings are better voiced with someone other than on my husband's shoulders because really he can't change how I feel about this and there is nothing he can do in this matter. I feel like I don't fit in with Ryan's family, like they accept me only because of him making it so. They are a nice Christian family with good morals and I'm the girl from the dirty side of the tracks, you know. Even in the beginning, Ryan's friends always would discourage him, making comments like, be careful, she's using you. Even his brother to this day says comments like, she will come out of prison and have another guy in the house so fast, you're a fool, blah blah blah, some more ignorant crap. Sad part is, Ryan's brother is a total loser who has been in the jail scene himself, so I'm being smack talked by a dope head, and then on the flip side, his crack ho baby mama, Ryan's brother's baby mama to be clear on that, oh gosh, shows up for Christmas and brings Ryan a gift for us and our new apartment and everyone is just kumbaya. All these people are his people and they say, oh, we accept her, but they say occasional negative comments. I feel the real truth is if I wasn't married to Ryan, his friends and family wouldn't give two shits about me as a person. Now, the reason why, the reason why I kind of feel like there might be a bit of hostility, especially if you're saying that, you know, Ryan's family have like good Christian values and are like, you know, I mean, even if you don't have good Christian, even if you aren't a Christian, okay, I would really struggle to, you would struggle to find someone's family who would be happy for their son or daughter getting with a unaliver. Do you know? Like, just to put it quite blunt. I'm not a bad person. I'm not using anyone. I may not be high quality, but feel like I'm not prison trash just because I made one mistake. <clears throat> I'm too good for a bad boy, but I'm not good enough for a good one. That is how his world makes me feel. Now just him, I feel like I am loved and truly embraced, but hardcore bluntness to the people bluntness to the people around him, all I am is tolerated. His mum is super sweet to me, but sometimes I wonder if it is because she actually likes me, or is it because I'm married to her son? But pretty much everyone else probably would see him with a nice good reputation gal. I know I married him, not everyone around him, but all I'm saying is I wanted to be that girl. The girl truly embraced by whoever my person's family was going to be with only the best praise and hope for our future together. But why do I feel with all the negative comments I get a family who sees me as some prison piece of ass who has the affection of their sweet wholesome Ryan? Like I've already said. I feel like you would be very hard pressed to find a family who would be willing to accept Gypsy Rose or anyone who is convicted of second degree unaliving. Sorry, I have to say unaliving sometimes because otherwise YouTube flags it up. It's very, I know it sounds really like PG tips, but that's just the way it's got to roll. It all builds up and some things I feel doesn't need to be voiced, only coped with because I can be a little emotionally crazy sometimes, but this was on my heart. I might be wrong about how they view me, but all I know is most are on guard when it comes to me and my little divorce alarm bell freaks out, didn't make them feel at ease. That is on me though. Live and learn on that one. I'm trying to prove my worth and show I am better than what they think. Flashing my status as a public figure of inspiration hasn't been successful at doing that so maybe more hands-on with them in person and them seeing how much I love Ryan will show my true character this is what I'm trying to get at in the sense that she's saying like flashing my per flashing my status as a public figure of inspiration and then coupled with the fact that she's saying like I made one silly mistake as if she's talking about like I don't know um you know, uh, shoplifting, which I know obviously like, come on, like not a good thing to do. But you, if you actually feel remorse, that could be classified as a silly mistake because you were desperate and you decided to shoplift something. That's a silly mistake. Unaliving your mother is not a silly little mistake. And she's then coupling it with being like, you know, flashing my status as a public figure. And I'm just, I just, I'm just getting, a, I'm getting alarm bells. I'm going to be completely honest. This is another one. RE, my dad loves him. My dad loves him. My stepmother has always been seemingly supportive, but has her moments that she is only supporting me and not him. So like a few months ago when Ryan and I had an argument, she basically sidelined him and told me I should get the marriage annulled. And then if I want to date him later, I can, but it's better to just get the annulment. Three days before I got married, she told me to wait and talk me out of it. So I mean, I feel they like him, but have a certain level of caution. I recently came into some moolah which is money. And so they want my money to be untouchable to him, even though we are married and do want to build a life together. The fact that she's, the reason why she came into money was 
like she was in prison during this time the guy said it was 2022 she's already coming into money so this whole idea that people are just like oh no like she needs the money and that's the reasoning why she's like coming out and we should respect her hustle she already had money when she was in prison she already had the money they have high expectations for him to take care of me provide for me like getting our own place is all on his shoulders and he can't touch any of my money to be able to provide for us that to me isn't fair they want him to shoulder the weight of two people on one person's salary. With his salary and a little help from my trust fund, we can get a nice ass house, but my parents won't allow him to do that for us right now because they want to make sure he can't get to my money in case we don't work out and end up divorcing, which I understand, but I love Ryan and want to start having children soon. So eventually they need to trust that he won't take advantage of me and retain my money and let me pitch in something for our stability. Other than that, they like him. Um, and then the next email was hi there so it's been a rough week for me so I didn't write much I made the decision to separate from my husband we've only been married nearly four months and I realized that I was not ready for marriage it has been a roller coaster of emotions and I'm taking his emotions as my own so it's been draining so obviously so obviously what we've now had is we've had them like being together she's talking about wanting to separate because of various different reasons um his fam like her family want her to keep all the money his family don't really like her so yeah so yeah um so it's quite interesting how they're able to just like swiftly turn it around which does kind of lead like yes you can obviously if you're like working on a marriage and you're consoling each other and stuff obviously you're gonna try and like work through these kind of things but literally they've only been married for four months and they're already talking about like getting a divorce is that because gypsy is looking at it from like a probation standpoint is she not was it just like a little kink in their marriage I don't really know. I do find these emails quite interesting because like I say, they've been verified. Um, she has said, she's stated so many times now that, you know, she was writing to men when she was in prison. I'm sure that Ryan would have like, you know, put a hole and he has said that, you know, she doesn't write to men anymore, but she was, I think that she was just trying to, you know, reach out to people, have communications. But the fact is, is that she was already trying to be with someone else before Ryan anyway. So I feel like she's always tried to like find a connection, maybe find someone for her parole. I don't really know, but you've obviously got like that anxious attachment style, which could very well just be, just be what she's been going through. But that's pretty much it. And I do find these emails oh my god I, yeah i mean i've already said what i needed to say but that's pretty much it uh so to, today seven somewhere somewhere at seven it's obviously not uk time but somewhere at seven we're going to be hearing from nick now whether or not that's actually nick talking or it's through someone else i'm not entirely sure but he has used this platform before we're really eager to check out what's going on over there i hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i will catch up with you guys in the next video